Hi, what's up everyone? In today's video, let's learn how to use one of the special tools Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let's try to find the Shape Builder tool first in the toolbar. You can go to right over here and select this icon that looks like two circles and an arrow on it. You can also use keyboard shortcut, which is Shift plus M to activate it. We can see that there are different modes the Shape Builder has to offer. Joining or merging mode, erasing or deleting mode, extraction mode, and finally, working with paths and line segments mode. Firstly, we have joining or merging mode. Today I use this practice file. If you want it, you can download it from below the description. By default, the Shape Builder tool is in this mode, where you can lump all the shapes together by click and dragging. I have these two shapes placed one on top of the other. I will select them both using the selection tool and it's important that you select all the shapes affected before activating the Shape Builder tool. If you forgot to select shapes before getting Shape Builder tool, don't worry. You can press and hold Control on Windows or Command on Mac to activate selection tool temporary. So now you can select shapes. After releasing Control or Command key, you will switch back to Shape Builder tool quickly. Simple right. Okay, you will notice a plus sign appears on the lower right side of the pointer and each subregion you hover over gets highlighted with shading. This gives you visual cues to identify the final combined shape. If you click and drag over all these shapes, you will see that the shapes will then be merged together, thus giving us one final shape. Note that the newly formed shape will inherit the last selected fill color, which may or may not be the color of current shapes. Another important point is the Shape Builder tool only works with overlapping shapes. In other words, the shapes have to touch other shapes, or at list, with aligned edges like this. Sometimes what we need is just one subset from a complex combination of shapes like this one below. So the middle looks like a leaf, right? The Shape Builder tool is great at letting you take what you need. Say that you only want the intersection of the two shapes. So I select the all shapes that the overlapping shapes you want to work. Activate the Shape Builder tool. Simply click the target area. Boom. Now you have intersection as a new shape. Next, I will show you the my favorite mode of Shape Builder tool, erasing mode. The process of erasing regions of multiple shapes is very similar to merging, except it works in erase mode. Like before you have to select overlapping shapes before going for erasing using Shape Builder tool. Then, press and hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac OS. You will see a minus sign right next to the pointer. That's the sign of we are working with the erasing mode. Now you can click and drag to erase the shape. Also, if you want to delete a region, simply click on it while on erasing mode. By now, we have seen how to use Shape Builder tool for multiple shapes to create new shapes. But did you know the Shape Builder tool works with multiple paths too? Let's take a look. As you can see here, we have strokes overlapping each other on this donut shape that I drew. Let's select all and activate the Shape Builder tool. As you hover over the strokes with holding Alt key on Windows or Option on Mac, you will see the strokes turn red. This means that when you click on, it will get deleted. Let's just carefully click on these lines and you will see that the line art will be cleaned up. Simple, right? Like that you can clean up your drawing. There you have it, everyone. You just learned the Shape Builder tool in less than five minutes. If you enjoyed this type of content and you wish to see more videos like these in the future, please leave a like on the video and let me know in the comment sections what tool I should cover next. Have a great day everyone, and cheers!